let us create a swimming pool with caustics in blender so you can see that there are ripples there are caustics and then the tube is floating on the water so we will start from scratch delete the light and the cube we'll start with the plane go to edit mode right click subdivide and make two subdivisions select the middle polygon extrude it move it inside now select all these edges edge bevel edge add little bevel and we can now scale the pool so it becomes big you can even make it deep if you want okay we will add a texture so create a new material go to base color image texture open and find a image texture i went to freepick.com and search for swing pool texture and i found this one so that's how it looks go to uv editing click on a to select all a to select all on this side we'll go and look at how it looks and you can see how it is stretched here so you'll go to uv unwrap cube projection so that fixes that problem and then we'll simply scale it big to your liking so that you have small tiles on the pool all right so the pool is ready okay you can make it even deep if you want then we'll create a plane scale it big this one object apply scale this one object apply scale move it down so it's in the water so this one is pool this one is water modify panel ocean okay go to materials create a new material change it to glass use the aqua color ior 1.33 so that's our glass material we'll go to cycles and we'll add an environment texture again go to hdri heaven you should have 3d assets library like i have and i have hdri image and we need one good image which has nice sunlight so i'm using white street for that okay we'll be using it later so now our ocean has to be looked into so we have waves spectrum so spectrum is shallow water then depth of water 10 meters now look at the size of that pool it's huge so we'll make it small okay we'll reduce the scale of the waves also Okay, so you can have your water move like this.
Okay. Let us set up the camera. Zero N. And now for caustics. One thing is we need to go and add caustics for the environment. Shadow caustics under settings. The water has to have shadow caustics. So the water will cast the shadow caustics and then the pool will receive. So three places we have to turn the caustics on for the water which will cast for the pool which will receive and our light which will have shadow caustics also. And then we create the ocean and then we hit the render button. So, so to fix the shadow caustics issue, we go to material and first we reduce the roughness. Then we go to modify panel and increase the resolution to 9. Then we test the rendering and you can see that you get beautiful caustics for your water. Now for the next step is animation. So we will... This time is what is going to animate the water. Okay, so we'll add a keyframe and then after 200 frames, we will make it one and add a keyframe. And now we have moving water. So now that our water is moving nicely and it's rendering good, now we will add a pool tube. So we can add some realism to the scene. I also added some lights. So let us add the lights first. So I'll create a cube and scale it. Say 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay. Object apply scale. Go to edit mode. Edge. Bevel edge and bevel it, and then we will place it here and we scale like this. So this light has to be smaller. Inside. Okay. And then I duplicated it. Okay. And then we add a new material to that light. Make it yellowish in color. Roughness will be zero. Emission we will add ten. And we'll add emission color also. So we name this light then we'll select this and add the light material to it also so we have lights in the scene now we'll go to add a mesh plane and this is for the pool tube so we'll make it uh, small So you should have a Blender Kit installed to bring uh, 3D objects. If you go to Edit Preferences, you can search for Blender Kit and make sure it is installed. So I have typed Swim Tube and I'm going to use this one, which will be added to the scene. Okay, so the tube is huge now, so we will make it small. So we'll say 0.2 or 0.3. Okay, object apply scale. <clears throat> so now what we will do is we will select the plane, object apply scale to that also. 
we don't need this anymore uh, we will add a modifier called shrink wrap shrink wrap and go to edit mode uh, right click subdivide and add a lot of subdivisions so 20 and then uh, well, when the vertices are selected go to the data add a new vertex group and assign the vertex group okay uh, then go back to modify panel and the target is going to be water and now if you see that the plane is following the water okay now what we want is that we want this uh, tube to follow the plane. So we'll select the tube and we'll go to constraints and we will add copy location and the target is the plane. Okay. And the vertex group is the group. And now wherever the plane goes, the tube follows. Okay, and it stays on the water. Okay, now if you want the tube to be inside, you can go to edit mode, select the tube, go to edit mode, A to select all, and you can slightly move it inside. Okay, so some part of the tube will be inside the water. And then we will also add copy rotation and again it is the plane the vertex group is group okay so when you rotate your plane the tube will also rotate so when you play this now okay now you can see that the tube is jittery so you can select that tube go to modify panel and change this to project and you can then use negative and now the tube is following the plane nicely and you can now animate your plane so you go to frame number one move it say here and then i Location and rotation go to 200, move it, rotate it, and I location and rotation. So now your tube is going to follow the water. The tube we can plane, we can hide, and too much just a little bit of motion to the tube. So it's moving and rotating and following the water. Okay. And we will hide this plane and look at the render one more time to see how the tube looks and the lights. So we'll go to render settings 1280 by 720. So render render image. Okay, so you have the lights, you have the shadow for the tube. The tube uh, it looks too bright. So we will go and reduce the strength back to one. Okay. <clears throat> you can even reduce the strength of that light. Five. Okay, so those are your lights. You can make them smaller if you want. Tube, water, caustics. And once you have the animation, it will look awesome. So that's about it.